Hello, and <laughs> welcome to what apparently is now Jessica Quest Heroes, the Dragon Quest Heroes game where I play exclusively as Jessica. In today's episode, we're probably going to be playing more as Jessica. <laughs> as we head back into granite, into the statuesque sanctum. Because, you know, we've nearly found Beryl's betrothed and also her father. We're nearly there. Maybe this episode... Oh, I think we found them. That was easy. <laughs> it looks like we'll be safe from monsters in here. Wig. Oh, hello. What's wrong with you two? You look terrified. Big monster by any chance? No, there is no need to be afeared. We ain't monsters. You must have been so worried. Well, don't fret. Your daughter's safe now. <laughs> Again, big monster somewhere, isn't there? Yes. Spoiler alert. I was right. Also, while this all happens, I cannot change characters for whatever reason. Right, so I will also mention just while we, you know, while we just speak over these folk, I have changed up my microphone settings, so if it sounds different, that's why. Like, because it is different. <laughs> yeah, and for whatever reason, I cannot change, like, I can't change characters. Like, I feel like the game just does that to me sometimes, and I have no idea why. Like, the game just decides to do it, occasionally. So, we love a working game. <laughs> Either way... Oh, I've just been knocked over sick, right. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll just go do- Oh, see, now I'm stuck trying to, you know, take out this Maw Keeper with... Aurora instead of Kirill. Which is a pain. So I can't just like blast through it. Shield with thunder thrust. <laughs> I can't just cheese it. Although I say that, I pretty cheesed that well, didn't I? Also, yes, I'm aware how awful that grammar was. I, I pretty well cheat. You know what, I'm just gonna give up on that. <laughs> Could I have a monster medal, please? Hurry up, please. No, okay. Right. Oh, God. So, are, are we supposed to literally just chase this thing? <laughs> Is that all we do? Oh, there we go. It looks like it's back interested in us again. Oof. <laughs> Oof. Hey, look! I, okay. So I know, I know I originally said, what is it, you know, dodge or die. Maybe guarding is a good idea. <laughs> Maybe I'll give in to that ideology. I can't see where I'm looking. This isn't great. <laughs> yeah, this isn't, this isn't the best. I would like the ability to, you know... Switch who I'm playing as, that'd be fun. Also, love that Nero is just there in the background, just chilling. Like, all. <laughs> okay, literally. Eh, I'm underneath it. Literally, all she was doing was she was just stood there guarding. It's like, thanks for the help, sis. Right. Ooh! Hold on! Okay, just, just gonna. <laughs> I'm just going to ignore the Maw Keeper for now. Oh, I killed it. Wig, okay. Wig, okay. <laughs> Unintentionally, but we killed it. Right. <laughs> I can see that they're... Oh, Wig, okay. I was about to say, I can see... I can see... I can see that the dwarves are still getting got. 
they'll be fine. We'll just poop <laughs> both them out. Ooh, hold on. There we go. And then it only popped down to 17. Ow. Ow. Me when I forget to breathe? I don't know. Also, I'm nearly dead. <laughs> oh, I'm fine. What? Oh, it lost interest. I was like, what's going on? <laughs> oh, you know what? I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna cheese this, because why not? <laughs> We're still charged, so there's no reason not to cheese it. See? Right. Good, I was about to say, let's just grab this that's gonna drop. And then if we just take place here, before the Guardian gets here... Oh, well, we hit it once. <laughs> You know what? It's better than nothing. I won't complain. Completely. If I die with Aurora here, am I just- oh, okay. I was gonna say, am I just automatically gonna have to change or am I not gonna be able to do anything? Cause like, I could do with Jessica healing me again. And I could have done with that earlier. Corner. <laughs> also, I think this might be the first time I've been using that, you know, aerial attack. I'm gonna die! Okay, we're good. Genuinely, first time I think I've used this attack. <laughs> Ow. Hey, Jessica slash Helix, do us a favor. Okay, good. Also, I'm pretty sure Jessica's doing more healing than Helix. You know, the heal slime. Okay, thanks both of them. Someone's helping at least. <laughs> Cheesing it. Never mind, because he guarded. Loving life. And though, eh, the Guardian's nearly dead, we'll be fine. We'll just have to go around this way. <laughs> right, is the muddy hand gonna help? Oh, it is, okay, work. But anyway, he's dead anyway. And I'll just say anyway about four times in one sentence, anyway. <laughs> Are we, are we done now? Losing was never an option. Indeed, apparently. <laughs> oh, oh, and then after. Now, go fetch and fetch. It's so, so. ready. Like, why is it? of a rescue party. And with my daughter in tow. <laughs> well, my duty, old friend. Were it possible, I would have come sooner, but. Alas, our entire realm is under siege. Hope this doesn't look too bad for all you guys. I'm sorry if it does. But it's really crusty on my end, too. A whole lot of them. Things are worse than I thought. Noble Foreman, as Lord of the Realm, it falls to me to discover the truth behind their misbehavior and to restore the monsters to their former selves. I love that Doric just sounds now like he is massively friend. jowly, despite no not having jowls. Explain this beastly business. Hmm. Ah, there is a legend passed down by my people. 
wig. What is it? A slumbering dragon, black as the night, sealed away in a deep, dark place. Deep in the dark heart of the world, the black one lies. His wings are full. The night he brings devours the light. Fills hearts once pure with seething spite. I love that at the centre of every Dragon Quest game is just light versus dark. The sun will set on days of peace. Should air his slumber, chance to cease. Now, how the heck did you know that? It's from a book I used to read when I was a child. I was just gonna say magic lol. <laughs> Forces at work in this world. Forces we can never hope to understand. That's the same rhyme, all right. Word for ancient word. Intriguing. The eruptions on the Isle of the Fault, the sudden change in monster kind. Could all our recent troubles be related to this black dragon? And if so... Then, does that mean this dragon that's supposed to have been left well alone might actually be waking I... up? Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. Well, it's an old tale, as I say. So there's no knowing how much truth might be in it. Mm. This is not the first I have heard of the great black dragon. The recent changes in our realm could well be related to this ancient evil. We must find out the truth of this, friends, before it is too late. Excuse me, Your Majesty. Mm. Is this where they finally join us properly? <laughs> is it finally happening? Mm -hmm. Yay! <laughs> Whatever's going on in this world, it ain't good. We can't just leave you to face it on your own. We want to help. Are you sure, though? Didn't you say you had something urgent to be getting back to in your world? Someone special? Yes. We do. But knowing of the peril your world faces... We... We cannot, in good conscience, ignore your plight. <laughs> Such purity, such stupidity, <laughs> such effortless grace. Praise heavens for true hearted maidens. Come, we journey together. Thank you, sire. <laughs> and everyone else as well. I promise you, <laughs> you won't regret this. That would have been more emotional had the, you know, cutscene not been so hideously out of sync. <laughs> Crikey, I thought we were done for when that stone guardian showed up. Still, all's well that end well, eh? Indeed, and when Beryl was finally reunited with her father and her beloved, it made it all worthwhile. I don't think I've ever seen anything quite so heartwarming in all my life. Listen, thanks you two. I know you must be keen to get back to your own world, so agreeing to stick around and help like this is really nice of you. But you said it yourself, there's someone waiting for you back home. Well, we couldn't be sure. Your world is in peril. It'd be unforgivable of us to leave now. And besides, what is it's what he would expect of us, isn't it, Bianca? Uh, yeah, I suppose it is. Reckon he'd pretty mu he'd get pretty sour if we found out we left everyone here in the lurch. So I suppose it's settled. We're sticking around till your world's all sorted. Won't let you down. Promise. There we go. Now, like the others, I'm just going to sort out all of the skills and equipment like that off-screen. Just so you don't have to sit through it. <laughs> right. Bianca the Artful Archer is an ardent archer with remarkable marksmanship skills, holding X charges up her arrows for stronger strikes. Her plasma dome skill envelops enemies in a devastating dome of electrical destruction, Perfect for causing carnage from a distance. And Nera, the time-delayed lady. She's a dab hand at magic who blows big bubbles with Y that burst on impact. She recuperates MP with every X attack that hits. Her Miracle Moon sk Oh, I remember Miracle Moon. Miracle Moon fucks so hard. <laughs> oh wait, isn't it like Miracle Moon that scoops all the enemies in? And there's another like, continuous like, cutting attack? 
That doesn't really make sense, but I know exactly what I mean. Either way, now I'm going to sort out the skills and all of that off screen, so I'll be back in a sec. Right, so remember when I said like that 25k I had was going to get eaten up really quickly? Yeah, I'm down to 48 gold, um, <laughs> and I haven't even equipped everyone out with all the new equipment. Like, I've equipped the girls that you can see on the team, Bianca, Aurora, Nera, and Jessica. They've all got the best stuff they could have so far, excluding accessories. I just figure since we're going to be taking them out, it'd be useful to have them in the best stuff. Now, that accolade that I pointed out that I missed in the last episode, I've picked it up now. And that's about it. <laughs> and I've also picked up and taken on the quests that I could so far. And I think I just want to end this episode off just by, you know, doing a quest. Just like a side quest to show off Nera and Bianca. Hopefully I'll be able to change characters again. I would appreciate that. But oh well, let's go. Thanks to our unstinting efforts, Granite is saved at last. Which means all the principal set settlements of our great kingdom are at least secure. That's great, but what about the black dragon that the foreman mentioned? You think everything that's happened might really be because it's waking up? Hmm. <laughs> Certainly not outside the realm of possibility. The dragon in question is none other than the black god of the night, dark counterpart to the goddess, she who watches over the light. The legends do indeed tell that this fearsome beast slumbers deep beneath the earth. And if the legends are true and the beast awakens, what then? What would become of our world? I know not, lad, but it would bring naught to woe upon us. In any case, we mustn't dwell. Come, let us return to Arbor and take a moment to assess all that we've learned. I see. Right, a strategy meeting in Arbor. <laughs> so like I said, I'm gonna ignore that. Cause, oh, uh, hold on, Elena has something to say, never mind. <laughs> Friends, tell me of Arbor. What kind of a place is it? How is it constructed? It's only the biggest, busiest city in the world. It's got the castle where the king lives, and Yggdrasil too. Yggdrasil, most compelling. Our world too possesses a tree of this name. Could they be al alike in looks additionally, I wonder? To speak of it makes me yearn to see it instantly. <laughs> if you're itching to get a glimpse, why not head on deck? The world tree should be coming into view at any moment. Oh. Okay, we're getting a cutscene whether we- oh, don't tell me I've accidentally just gone on with the story. Is so much incredible. I hope I haven't. So Tea. <laughs> He's going to get flung over the side, isn't he? And bask in the joy this brings. Then, and only then. everyone. Oh, God. indeed. <laughs> The incomparable castle of Arba, and above it, Yggdrasil, symbol and protector of our mighty realm. Incredible! This is bad. Uh oh, oh SpaghettiOs. Oh, so it was the world tree the point that I stopped playing? <laughs> what devilry is this? The monsters assail the mighty Yggdrasil. But how I thought we got rid of all the monsters in Arbor. A separate force must have descended on our city in our absence. But why the world tree, and why its upper branches? They must be headed for Yggdrasil's crown. Okay. Yes, a sacred altar in the highest part of the tree. Also the source of all her power, what you might call her heart. What? See, I just assumed they were headed to like the heart of Yggdrasil, because like, you end up going there in Dragon Quest XI, so you know. I just figured that's where they were headed, maybe. Right, anyway, I think this must have been where I stopped playing last time. Because, like, I remember the big tree, so clearly we were up in the world tree itself. 
So, I think this must have been vaguely where I stopped playing. Right, so yeah, the story's all there, but we're just going to do a side quest for now. Uh, what have we got? Booted and suited, protect the root. You know what? Clobbering for clobber is just a fighting one, so let's do that. I want to test out Bianca and Nera. I... oh. I cannot change again, for whatever reason. That kind of sucks major weed. So what, am I just stuck as Aurora now? <laughs> is this my new life? Um, oh, it's there. Listen, the great Saber Cat's half dead, so I want to focus my efforts on that. Oh, that was one of Nera's attacks. I was like, what is that over there? Right, the Saber Cat's dead. Uh, oh, good lord, the Haxorus, yeah. Ow. Yeah, you can see I got Aurora in a fun new sword. <laughs> That's something that happened. Oof. Oh yeah, Nera, not Nera, Bianca has the ability to use snooze, so she can like put enemies to sleep, which is awesome. I mean, it would be if I could play as her. <laughs> you know, in the next episode I'm just gonna, you know, fud around with the controls, try and, you know, figure out why I can't switch characters. I am, you know, Mui not a fan of it. You know, I would like to play as literally anyone besides Aurora. It sounds mean, but I just want to play as the new characters. And Jessica. <laughs> right, the Haxorus is dead, so it's just Mr. Trolliosis. Solid view. <laughs> just a wall. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, it looks like Frost Slash is d does the most damage, so it might just be worth... Might just be worth spamming. Oh. Wait, is that it? Oh. I didn't even have to use my coup de gras. Okay. <laughs> that was underwhelming. Right, okay. <laughs> So what, have we just done that quest? Because that went a lot quicker than I was expecting it to. See, I don't even imagine we'll get that much in terms of experience and cash. Yeah, 175 experience, 134 gold. Right, so I suppose we just turn in that quest. Yeah. Right, what do we get? The, honestly, what we've gotten most often is just a single mini medal. Oh, wait. Um, an alternate. How does one change costumes while she's just clapping in the background? Will it be an equip? It will be. Oh. Oh, and I assume Lucius will just be changing his to red. You know what? Let's play with Blue Aurora for a little bit. Why not? Right, and I'm going to end this episode here, and I'm just going to, like, shut down my game and start it up. Because I would quite like... Because <laughs> I want to do those other quests, and I want to play as Bianca in Nera, in a shocking twist to nobody. <laughs> so yeah, that's it for this episode. Thank you for watching, and hopefully I'll see you next time.